In this lecture, let's learn what is a child route and how to create and use a child route in Angular. Child route is also called as nested route. So child routes or nested routes are a powerful new feature in Angular router. Nested routes are the routes within other routes. So in this lecture, I will show you how to create a child route and display the child components. Let's open VS Code and let's first revert back the changes which we made in our previous lecture where we learned about fragments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment these links and I will uncomment previous links where we are using this router link and we are specifying some path to it. Then let's again comment these selectors and uncomment this router outlet. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And now our page should be working as earlier. So now the views are displayed in different pages. Okay, so here we are dis displaying the view of home component. Then when I click on this about link, here we are displaying the view of about component. Then here contact component and here courses component. All right. Now here in the courses page, we have a list of courses. And for each course, we have this show details button and when i click on this show details button it is taking us to the detail page of that course so here you can see the details related to that course and in the url you will see the route as root url slash courses slash course slash the id of that course and we are defining this route in the app modules file so here you can see here we are defining this route now we can define this same route using child routes. Let's see how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this route here and let's create a new route here. Let's specify the path first. So here the path is going to be courses. Okay. And to this, I'm not going to specify any component. Instead, I'm going to specify another property, which is children. And to this children, we can assign an array and inside this array, we can write all our child routes. So let's specify one child route here. So again, just like any other route, we use this object literal syntax inside this, we specify the path. So here the path is going to be course slash, and then we want to use a route parameter for that. We can use colon and the parameter name is going to be ID. So this is the path. Then let's also specify a component to it. So to this component, let's specify course component. Okay. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and let's go to course component. I mean this courses page and here let's click on the show details button of one of these courses. So let's click on this show detail. And here you will see it is displaying 404 page. So since this nav bar is fixed here, that's why we are not able to see the complete message. Let me go to app component.css. So here, and let's set this position to relative. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And now you can see it is displaying this 404 page. And here in the URL, you will see it is courses slash course slash 102. So earlier with the same route, it was displaying the course properly. But here, for some reason, it is not displaying the course. Now I will explain the reason why it is like that. But before that, let's also test one more thing. So in the route here, instead of course, let's specify empty string like this. Let's save the changes now. Let's go to the web page. Let's go to courses here and let's click on the show detail. Now again, we are seeing this 404 page, but this time we have this error because on this button element, if I open this courses component, so let's open this courses component.html here to this router link, we are specifying this path, this courses slash course and then the ID of the course. But here we don't have this route in our defined routes. 
Okay, so we don't have any route with courses slash course slash ID, right? So here, let's do one thing. Let's remove this courses from here. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. Let's click on this courses and let's click on this show detail button. And now it is properly displaying the course. So why is that? That's because here when we have defined this child route, for this child route, the parent route is the root URL. And for the root URL, we are specifying the home component. Okay. And we are using this router outlet inside that component. But when we specify courses here, so courses like earlier, in that case, for this child component, the parent component will be the component with this path. So this courses component. So in order to make this work, we will have to use router outlet inside the parent component. Okay, so if I go here inside this courses component.html and let's change this path to courses slash course slash ID of the course. And then here, after this ng container, let's use router outlet. Okay, and here let's use absolute path. Otherwise, this path will be appended to the currently active route, right? But we want this route to be appended to root URL. So here I have used this slash to make it an absolute path. Let's save the changes now. Let's go to the web page. And here, now let's click on these one, one of these courses. So on, on this show details button. And now it is displaying the course properly. Okay, so the issue earlier was here we have created a child route. But in order to make this child route render the view properly, we need to add the router outlet in its parent component. And that's what we are doing here. We are adding this router outlet in the parent component of this child route. And that's why it is working properly. Now, in this way, you can have as many child routes as you want separated by a comma. Okay, so if you want to get a course by name, then you can also specify a path for that. So here, let's say course. And then we can use the name route parameter. Okay, and then we can specify the component. So let's say the component is still going to be course component. Okay, so in this way, you can specify multiple child routes for a given parent route. All right. And since we are nesting this route inside another route, that's why it is also called as nested route. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.